Welcome everybody, hopefully there's one or two, it'll take uh, about 15 seconds to catch up and make sure that we're actually live and all proper, but I'm sure we are. Uh, tonight's guest, well, tonight's guest is Chris, aka Chunkmeister. So, um, welcome Chris, nice, thanks for coming on the show. <coughs> Just uh, can't actually see if anyone's there, so... It says, oh, here we go. Yeah, we're away. We are live. We're all good. Um, Oxfordshire Vapors, good evening. Hello, really, are we well? And Lynn Smith, hi, Mark and Chunkmeister. So, yeah, mm -hmm. thanks for coming on, Chris. Um, been threatening it once or twice. You've been in chat and said that I must have you come on the show. And finally, you're here. You've got that yeah. blurred background on, haven't you? Yeah, I've tried it, but I think it's uh, <laughs> starting to yeah. so. That's off now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit odd when yeah. you vape with the blurred background. It sort of gives it a, a funny sheen. But uh, evening, Simon, um, Andy, Daniel, David, Curly Chew, and Lynn. Obviously, I've said hi, Lynn and Andy. And Curly Chew, while I can see you in chat, thanks very much for recommending my... Uh, little uh, video on the concentrates and our, you know, and our setup and how to do it. That was nice. I did read that in Twitter that you'd recommended it to someone. So thanks for that. Always good word of mouth. Evening, Kieran. Uh, vaping Smurf. So Chunk, tell us what. Actually, we're in for a treat tonight, folks, because uh, Chris has brought in some objects of. of days gone by of the past which he's going to share with us i think it's going to be fascinating actually but for now tell us what you're vaping on what am i vaping on at the moment i am on um, my usual i was pretty much on the fp most of the time these days still on the fp you're still on liking my, that then on my trio and there's um i love peach taffy in there um i've got I've always got this need, but I've always got one of these, the Aspire Mini Gusto, uh, with uh, uh, frost in it. Sorry, that was the I Aspire, was it? Yeah, the, the, it's the um, the Gusto Mini. Oh, right, yeah. Um, of course, an old drip tip. Not. Yeah, I do like the older drip tips. I like the, the classic calabash sort of shape. Yeah. Um, it's quite, well, random shapes. Um, I got my captain, and I got my my true tank. Oh, that's, the, you uh, had to, didn't you? That's the way forward. <laughs> Another yeah. big drip tip on the true tank. The, the, which one? Oh, on the true tank, you got the you got your big drip tip on the true tank. Yeah, I'm I'm not one for small small mouthpieces, so this is a bit oversized, but yeah. <laughs> airflow is is. It's rather nice of an it. So. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Um, and what I'm saying to hand that I've been using is, you might laugh, but I've got my MVP2. <laughs> with, uh, unfortunately, I have got a booty ring on this thing. Right. And there's uh, the pro tank with the airflow. Oh, it's the old Kanga one with the airflow, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I bought the adapters for that. Right. Um, and uh, I think Smock made um, that adapter, didn't they? Do you know what? I haven't seen any tanks recently that come up with this. Yeah, open and close I, I think that was made so, by Smock because I had some. Um, mm, and I was so mis I'm, I'm wondering. Hey. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering which company will come up with a, a twisty ring yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because things do go full circle, don't they? I think I'm in trouble tonight because for some reason my chat has gone massive. <laughs> Normally I can't read it. I'm like this <laughs> tonight is huge, but I only get about six to the page. But never mind. We'll 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 see how we go. It might be better. Uh, see Pav in chat. Evening Pav. Um, I said hello to Vaping Smurf. Andy had James. James Bushel. 
and Stephen, hi Stephen. Yeah, I think, uh, oh, Shane, Shane Foster, one or two in chat, that's good. Kieran, I've said hello to, Lynn, I've said hello to, Ian Morgan, and that's Pav again, there you go, I've caught up. Yeah, that, actually, I can read that in chat now easily, but as usual, if, you, if you've got a question that you specifically want answered, perhaps if you type in uh, chunk, in capital letters if you want if you want Chris or put Chris in capital letters just his first word and for me I don't know put Mark or Nature Vape Nature Vape's a mouthful put Mark capital letters that's mm. the easiest way otherwise what happens is uh, Chris I miss them in chat and it, I look sometimes I've looked through this like the replay of the show and I thought oh poor bloke I've missed him and that was quite a good point so it just just saves us missing a few. Seven thumbs up already. That's good. So, uh, so that's what you've been been vaping on, and you've got going. On... Yeah, and the uh, as magnesium box with uh, the recurve. Oh right. So, so you've had that all yeah. painted out. Who painted that? Um, no, it was it's a custom box made by. Uh, oh Nazi. right. Uh, they they mainly in the states. I think they do resell in the UK as well somewhere. Right. Um, but they do they do fully custom box. So you go onto the website, you pick the um, the color, the paint job, and what sort of sheen you want on it. Uh, and inside, you can see it's a very it's a very tight, clean build. Right. Yeah. So you know when it when it came through the post first, I thought, oh, it's it's, it's going to fit my uh, an eighteen six fifty, and I couldn't believe it was a duo because it was a surprise present for me. Right. Um, and yeah, you, you, you send them your, your details, your actions, or whatever you want, and they'll custom make a box for you. That looks nice, I like that's, that. Uh, the, um, there's the, the company. Oh, right, yeah, Nazy. Yeah, I hadn't, Nazy. didn't know that existed. So there you go, every day's a school day. We learn something every day. Mm. Hi, Spectre. Um, so um, we were talking briefly. What what happens is that before I have a guest on, usually the night before, I just dial them up on Skype, make sure the cameras work. And we were talking for a little while, weren't we, Chunk? Last night we pretty much had our own show, yeah. didn't we? Um, and you were, <laughs> <laughs> and you were telling me, that, sorry, we should have gone live. Yeah, you should have just done that live. We wouldn't we wouldn't need to be here. But you were telling me how you. Um, safeguard someone walking away with your mods in the local pub, weren't you? What you painted them with. <laughs> this is going back very old school. So I'm going to get my, my, some of my old boxes out now. So what I used to do, I'll find it, because I've got tons of these in my shed. I am I am definitely a vape hoarder. If something breaks, I could pretty much keep it. Um, but um, let, me find, Hi, let me find the right box. Garrett, hi Garrett. Like, While he's looking. Shop. <laughs> so. It's not That'll be the last box, of course. It's like a TARDIS in there, isn't it? <laughs> Where's it gone? Mm. It could be this one. Might not be, but it, no, UK vape star, over. Ah, ah. Here we go. Oh, What's he oh, found? What's he found? Of, you know, you just get you buy any eco battery years gone by, and they would come in black, red, sort of uh, <clears throat> blue if you're lucky, and that was pretty much it. And I I got bored of taking things to the pub and seeing everybody else's. I think I thought, right, I'm gonna. Make mine look a bit different. So I went to uh, the Poundland and picked up some nail polish, <laughs> and I decided I would give my mods, make my uh, yeah, a paint job. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether the camera will pick that up. Very uh, well, I can see it. I, I, it looks really, really good, and that's just nail polish on an ego, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it is, yeah, it's just that, well, it's um, an ego with a, an 808 connection. It's none of the newfangled 5 up yeah, 10s yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Mary Poppins. So, yeah, that was like. A, <laughs> I, then I thought this was before the zombie things came out. I thought I'd do a, a sparkly zombie. Yeah. But you see, that's actually a really good effect. If I was going to do that, I'd be afraid that they were going to look neff. But you obviously took it's, your time. It's ther it's therapeutic. Sorry? It's really therapeutic doing it. Therapeutic. It's really therapeutic doing it as well. Yeah. And then we've got... This was, a, this was about eight or ten layers, so... What was that? I had a dark blue base coat, and then I got the, the little blue sparkles, and I put some silver holograph hearts on it. Yeah. People are probably thinking that's a bit gay, but never got pinched. Yeah, and as Pav says, you know, that's a that's a professional paint job. I mean, they do look really. Oh. You must have took your time. You couldn't. You didn't just slap it on with the brush, did you? No, no. It was well, with a with a nail polish brush, doing it bit by bit, slowly. Yeah. Making sure it was making sure it was uh, hardened, and I mean, they they take a couple of days to do properly. Yeah, a couple of days. Um, so it's, it's worth it. That's a that's a big investment Definitely. on an ego battery. <laughs> it, it, but it would be now, but at the time, yeah. you, you were looking at, you know, fifty quid for an ego kit. Yeah, um, you were. That's so, that's very true. You, know. you forget that. So if anyone wants their mm. their battery mod custom painted with nail varnish, <laughs> you you take one on, would you, Chunk? I probably, I probably wouldn't. If I had the time, I would. But um, <laughs> it's definitely worth doing. It's good. It's good fun. Definitely yeah. good fun. And I'd advise anybody who's whether you're creative and artistic or not, just yeah. to have a play. If you've got an old bit of kit, yeah. And like I've got some limitless mods and stuff that I've, I've taken the sleeves and I painted, and you might have something like a tria that's kind of boring. You know, just get get a brush out and start. In a way, and yeah, make it your own. Make it your own. I think that's really good, though. And you know, there's you know, I know Tina is, um, you know, she's always said that for her, she loves pink, and she said there aren't many pink mods, there are a few more now, aren't there? Like R3 have started doing pink, yeah. and, and things like that. But in, in the times gone past, there wasn't a lot of nice mm. pinks, was there? I didn't think. No, but there are a lot of <laughs> pink, pink nail polishes. I'll put curly juice guy. Just be careful you don't go out with matching nails. <laughs> I think that would be funny. <laughs> well, you could you could you could even go and, co and coordinate your mod on your nails. You could do, couldn't you? Yeah. So uh, you know? I don't know if there's any any ladies in chat. So there you go. There's your task. We we want to see pictures, P proof of pictures, or it didn't happen. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, and there you go. Pav's put brought up a point here as well. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I bet those ego batteries still work. Mine still do after all these years, and so do mine. I've they had do work. I've had boxes and I've tried yeah. them, and they do work. They still flash. And the other thing about what I was doing with these and, and painting them is, if you remember, a lot of the, a lot of the coatings on the egos were really thin. Yeah. So you know they would they would scratch off really yeah. easy. Yeah. So by by doing that, you give it an extra couple of layers of coating. Yeah. And uh, they take a bit more handling. Mm. Should I say? I think that's really good. I, you know, normally you hear something like that, you think, oh, that's not gonna, it's not going to be that good. But uh, I, yeah, I, didn't I think, think that's that on me. I think that was cracking. Uh, right. Well, I better do what I'm vaping on. So tonight I've got the that's a new one that they only came in yesterday and i haven't added them on the site yet they're called i even had to look at the box to see what they're called there you go is the box it's the tacket mini uh show you what's what's in the box it's very similar actually to what we've done with it here it is hiding up behind the billet box this fella which i had on the go last week i can't use it because i'm going to be dead honest i had to uh the buttons out of that it's, it's inside it uh, i had to get lend it or give the chip to someone who had a problem <coughs> with their chip so i'm waiting for mine to be replaced but so it's very similar inside you've got your this attaches on it and your chain uh and a and a dripper it's not as expensive as the as the other one as the old trona 
and there it is with the true tank and it's 22 mil not 25 but look at the size of that dear little thing isn't that lovely i don't know if you can see it all properly there 18 350 battery you've got a whole vent hole in the side plus and minus and your battery just slides in to try and keep in shot there you go it's your 18 350 battery MOSFET chip in the top, I don't know if you can all see that, and the adjuster is quite clever, chunk has a little allen key in the in the lid that you can just unturn a little bit if you need to take up the slack, but really really good, and for me I like it because the button, I need a button I can find, a lot of these smaller ones have got a tiny button, because my thumb is completely numb, you know it's nice I can I can find them. Sorry? Your thumb's numb. Yeah, yeah. The thumb, I could pretty much oh. put, put that in pliers and I wouldn't feel it. Same with this finger's numb as well, the tip of that finger. So it's it's quite interesting picking up things sometimes. Well, I drop things sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how much I've got on a grip I've got on there. But there's the true tank on top of that. I've got the same as the previous weeks. I've been using this a lot. The... Um, uh, what's this thing called? The Y stick, isn't it? Yeah, Y stick. Um, and I've got the gate mouth to lung tank in there. And inside that, actually, I didn't say that I've got the um, Kona Packer tobacco manabush in there. And I've got the peach, papaya, and mango in the true tank. Kelpie on the new mod by Artery, I think that's Artery, or was it EH Pro, yeah, um, got me now, the trouble is they're the same company, and when they bring out things, think, is that an Artery product or an EH Pro, but uh, that's their new mod with a Kelpie, nice mod actually, 21700, good and heavy. So that's the Kelpie. What else have I got? I've got something of years gone by in front of me, which we'll get to later. Um, oh, yes. I've got the billet box with the north bridge inside. But can you see the white there? They've made a, an airflow adjuster now for the north bridge. And that actually works really well. Again, that arrived, I think it was, was it yesterday or Saturday? But I only put it in yesterday. And with a put this a 0.6 ohm coil, which is a bit it's neither one thing nor the other for me, the smock Nord coils, but with the airflow adjuster you can mouth to lung it, it's quite good. And there you go. So that's that, and I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much where I am. I've got some other bits and pieces. Like I say, something of years gone by. I just flashed that up right quick so no one saw it. And um, we'll get to that in a little while. Let Chunk have his little uh, little display. I won't be saying a lot tonight because, because you'll, be, you'll be going on about what you've got. Uh, just checking through mm -hmm. chat that yeah, Kieran says had two from about five years ago and they still work. The Ego batteries. Hi Tina, but say hello before I get in trouble. Mike, Michael. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Andy Harris, just in time, Tina. We were talking about nail varnish. I don't know if you saw it, Tina, but Chunk's mods that he's, that he's put nail varnish on. Uh, uh, there you go, I love nail polish. She certainly I'll get does. It back out. Get it back out for Tina. Show it. Show the nice glittery on. She'll love that. Give her some ideas about doing her own mods. Ah, oh, bless. I've got a high darling mm. with some kisses. Put that one on the screen, bless her. <laughs> there you go, Tina. I don't know if that's quite in focus. Are you a little bit out of focus, Chunk. I don't know if you want to just go back a bit. Yeah, you can just about see it, but it's... Early, a little while ago, we got sort of a good close-up of it. It's absolutely stunning. Eden Stewart. Yeah, there you go. Lovely. So, uh, there's your next challenge, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> I like that one. That's that's really good. 
Because you forget with the, the nail varnish stuff, there's so much glitter in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, what have you, you've got a few bits and pieces of years gone by there. I mean, last night you were you had like this magic box <coughs> and you were getting, getting stuff out of there. Well, every box, every box is a magic box in this in this shed. <laughs> it's just um, of, of everything where you know I go from you know, you know I, I still got supplies of things I like with like the old uh, the pro tanks. Yeah, you still uh, got the old pro tanks. Yeah, still got about a dozen of them. I went and um, bought the. I bought a pack of um, World Cup Brazil Eagle pens. Um, uh, all sorts of stuff in here. It's like drip, random drip tips of different shapes and colours and glass. But, and, but more so like your old. Tanks and your old mods that you showed me a few last night. I was <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's just um, absolute. I would say absolute overkill, but you know, it, it just builds up over the years. I've done some of that, and you kind of get attached to you know something which has so much importance. You know. Yeah. Um, also, this box. Let's play what's in this box. <laughs> what's in the box? What's in the box? Anybody recognise this? Let's see uh, if anybody recognises what this cable is. No, I don't. Um, anybody in chat? Somebody, somebody in chat's about to recognise what that is. Yeah, there you go. We've got Pav and Tina so, talking about matchy matchy nails and mods. <laughs> What's that sound there? Oh, is that a, uh, eye taste? Isn't that? Yeah, eye taste. Yeah. So this is the um, the counterpart for my MVP two. So you got the USB at the bottom. Yeah. And it plugs, and then you're charging. Oh, that's right. Weapons. I remember that oh. now. Yeah. Yeah. Or that, or whatever. Yeah, I never had one of those mods, and I know an awful lot of people did, and. And what was the other one, like a cage mod that they did? Um, oh, the was one, three, four. What was it? One, three, four. Right. Yeah. There yeah, you go. One, David three, four, Cox says there. that he had one of those. <laughs> yeah. We have a uh, random older... Ivory. I would say very old uh, batteries, which wouldn't be used again, probably, but... Uh, what, like that? I couldn't imagine putting these in. I couldn't imagine putting one of these in there. Uh, in one of the newer mods. Well, that's what I've managed to find this because I I didn't couldn't find an eighteen three fifty with a um, a nipple, and what I had is my old Pravari that we talked about it on the show the other week, and I said I've got one somewhere. So I thought I'll I'll dig it out and I tried to get it to work last night and it didn't work, did it? So because I was trying a flat top battery, but we'll try try that one in there tonight. I know it's charged because I charged it earlier. No, over on my desk I got the newest revision of the Pullman's Provari. All right, yep. Yeah. So that's the, the Vano V12, one, two, three, four, I think, which was the only one that came with the charger port on the side right so we did have, this one did have a built-in charger most all the others never had one which yes. i thought was uh unfortunate let's see if i can put a tank on that see if it works put the true tank on there <clears throat> look a bit big for it because these were made for like i think it was an 18 mil really but they had a i've got got it somewhere like a flange bit at the <laughs> I just come across another box of Eagle batteries, and guess what? What's up? These has to be painted as well. Oh! <laughs> Two, three, four, four. Power up, power up, power down, power up. Well, you're right, there's a jet black with fluorescent green uh, shapes. Another midnight blue. Yeah. 
I think this could be a trend. Did honey. you ever have a response to this off again? We're just chatting. We're just chatting away to ourselves, aren't we? And looking at our own stuff. Did you ever have a Pravari or not? I never had a Pravari. Because this just came up with error two. Power up. Throw three point seven. Let's try that. Three point seven on the screen. See if it works. Hmm. There you go. You can still get a vape out of the Provari. The screen isn't working now. It was. Yes. It said 3.7. So there you go. All this old stuff, it does keep and mm. does work. Uh, Pam yeah, says that he works. had a Provari as well. And Lynn well, Smith. As well as the stuff these days. Yeah, Lynn Smith says his Provaris are still working. And I want Curly Chew, I want the Provari so bad. Ah, there you go, Curly Chew. No, 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 no. <laughs> I really wanted one as well, but they did the. I think they did an 18650 or was it 18500 as well. And I, I just. I went for the 18350 because I thought that in its day. I mean, you look at that now in comparison, you can get the whole mod and the, and the tank. But they were big, weren't they? And the 18651 was, was huge. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Nine clicks to turn it on. <laughs> I thought it was five. Nine, was it? Anyway. I couldn't think, I couldn't think it was nine. It I does work. Any. Oh, you see, you've got you piqued Tina's interest now. Look, what sort of nail polish did you use, Chris? Um, I use the really expensive Poundland nail polish. That's right, I went to Poundland. So, sometimes sometimes two or three for the Poundland. But I did splash out on a couple of them. Um, I did one with uh, Enchanted nail polish, and that was like... I, it was it was like £13 a bottle. But I, I, had, to, I had to get this one particular colour, because it had that sort of sheen where you change the angle and it would change colour. Right. So, yeah... Um, Verena never had a Pravari, but had a lava tube. I remember that. Yeah, a lava tube. Here's another photo with the airflow. Yeah. I had so many of those things that I think I got ruthless one day, and you know I I binned a load of mine. Um, mm -hmm. But I've still got. I'll, I'll have to bring it up one night. I've got a Tupperware container, a big one. <laughs> Full of tanks and there's there's all sorts in there. There's you know original proper K funds everything. Yeah, makes you wonder whether they would have some kind of big, big museum where you know. They Jay could Jerry, good everything. evening. I think it could be my shed actually, but uh, you know a, a proper museum of uh, history. So you're in your shed tonight. Uh, <laughs> in, yeah, I thought it happened. In your man cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely uh, definitely needed uh, looking at. Um, yeah, David Cox, um, put that on the screen, uh, Bosch, so we all know what we're talking about. You, you say you had a different end cap for yours. I think they did do a different end cap, but they also did, and I, I know I've got it somewhere, like a, a, a different top. For this for this top piece to make the a twenty two mil tank sit flush because I think yeah. this is twenty two mil. Let's have a look. Well, it's actually twenty three a twenty three mil. Um, so I think it must have been a twenty three mil top. Provari was always fussy with the ohms above 1.4 was great to go down below 1.2 and got locked. Yeah, I think that's that's the thing, Kieran, that we, that with the older stuff, that if you want to, even mouth to lungs now, we, in the early days, we were 1.8, two ohm coils, things like that. Uh, but we're now sort of hovering around, for me anyway, about the 1.8 or the 1 ohm, maybe up to 1.2. Um, but some people are doing even less, aren't they? You know, sort of point mm. six. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't moved back the other way. I mean, this is what I was talking about last night. This is my my box of pre-made. Um, probably sounds like again, but I've got well, bags of pre-made two and a half, two and a half ohm, three ohm, three and a half ohm coils 
some some have got just standard wire and some of the the non-resistance resistance non-resistance yeah yeah whereas you know you got the move the heat away people still buy those buy those wires it's, don't they i know they do the the, the mm. non-res res wires i mean that's what our little yeah. pro cores have been made out of for years and some people say well you shouldn't be using silica wicks these days and you know it hasn't killed me so far no, in 12 no, years, so. and, and your throat sounds yeah. fine, Chuck. <laughs> My throat, oh no, that's because I haven't had any, I haven't eaten today and I haven't had no, no drinks. So. No eat, no drink all yeah. day? Webley, good no, evening, no. Jay Jerry, I think I must say good evening to Jay Jerry, I think I did, but. Yeah, I did bring a bag up for the snacks in it, but I think I left it in the car. I was there. Well, you don't look like you're going to starve, Chunk, to be honest with you. No, 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 I, I do have, I do have an, an, a rather nice survival stash of, uh, of, chocolate, of chocolate bars in my uh, DIY cupboard underneath there. So, right. Yeah. So what other, um, I mean, you started, was it 11 years ago you said you started vaping? 12 years ago, 12 years back Friday. 12 years Friday, crikey. We'll wait for you to have your drink, Chuck, because all we can see is you drinking. <laughs> there you go, you're better now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so when you first started, I mean, I know when I started, I'm pretty sure it was the Mini Novas when I started. Well, actually, no, it's a lie. My very first e-cig was by Jack Vapor, and it was the little... Um, traveling type all a box that you screwed the little like cigarettes um, what do they call that a cigar like sort of thing into it to charge it and that was like a charging unit unscrewed it and you screwed on like these filters that were the basically the e-liquid so that was my first and then I went up to Vivi Novas and then things okay. like with the old dangly wicks and then things like the pro tank so what was the equipment around when you started my first the first one i, I had a send off i ordered it from america um it was a golden dragon and it cost me with tax about 150 pound Did it? and then um one of my friends said he wanted it look into it because he wanted to move off smoking as well and we found cheaper things in alternative sources and uh, within a year the price had come down from 150 to, to 50 yeah uh, just retail yeah um, and then the copy company started coming up bringing their stuff out so you could end up buying um, just a standard battery a couple of batteries and they were literally half or a third of the price and you could end up with a full kit for about 30 pounds so yeah uh, came down massively um, apparently according to kevin smith donuts and kegs of beer are the things of choice in your cave <laughs> donuts and kegs of beer yeah got rid of the kegs the, the kegs have served a purpose um if anybody seen my fp uh fun night they'll uh, understand um, and then I, I, there was a company in America called the V9, um, which I, I did end up buying quite a lot of stuff from, um, simply because they were stocking the 808 threaded stuff. A lot of the other companies were doing 901 threads. And, oh, and I do know, I forgot all about five. that, until you just mentioned that, yeah. All the different threads, yeah. was it 808, was that one? These are eight weights, yeah. Eight, that, um, was a, that was a thread, I thought it was. Yeah, the um, eight weight is uh. basically a reverse. And the thread, I still think this is a superior connector. This is quite um, weird because it's just the, th the, the, the thread pitch of it. Oh, there you go, so you're in focus sure. now. You're too close the first time. Oh, okay. if yeah, when you held it back, it went perfectly in focus, but up too close, it was out of focus. Mm. That's better. 
Yeah, I think your lights on that bit. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so it was it was a, a far better connector. Plus, you know, with the Go batteries, you you could have um, something like uh, let's see. Four, oh right, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I know what you mean by the thread now. So so yeah, just the that. ego thread. Yeah, on with it. You're welcome, so you John. The threads and then if you just wanted to use a smaller one, you could put the a booty ring on, and then you could fit something like uh, a standard. Uh, car door, yeah, onto it, yeah, because mm. those standard car doors were expensive nice. as well, weren't they? Yeah, you'd be looking at you know, saying that you, you compare the price the, to these days, they wouldn't last as long, but for what they are, they were very basic. You were looking at you know, five or six pound, uh, a, 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 you know, a single or 25 pound for a, a box of five. Yeah. Um, and uh, one of the companies I used to get stuff from, uh, was uh, Liberty Flights. Liberty Flight. I thought so, that was what that was going to be. Yes. Yeah, so these are low resistance pre-punched 510 XXL. Pre-punched. That's tank. right. I remember. Yeah, because you had to punch them, didn't you? Yeah. 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 So, so I mean, the guy who invented the cardo tank, uh, his name's Adam. I used to <coughs> back in the early days when I was first started casting. Every night would be uh, hangouts after the shows, and and these would go on for six, seven, eight hours, just chatting and talking. And he invented the cardo tank. Right. And if anybody doesn't know in, in chat, basically. It was a basic, I don't know if I'd go on here. Um, it was a basic tank and it slid over the top of your, your cardinal. Yeah. And if yeah. You, you had holes, you, you, you'd had holes punched in the side. Yeah. It would let the juice to the yeah, yeah. cardinal. And basically, instead of dripping or refilling, it was a constant flow into your, your cardinal. Yeah. Kieran's just said he thinks it was called a Boge F16 cartomizer. Uh, yeah, the, it's all the it's like it's all coming flooding back to me, and I, I like the the cardamizers as well as well, you know. And I had oh, I can't remember the make of it. I think it was Greek, and you you just you unscrewed like say it was this. You unscrewed this bit, and it revealed two fill holes, very similar to the true tank, and then you screwed screwed it up again. Um, and that was how you filled it, and it was actually a good system. It was a good system because you didn't get that like compression of liquid going down in the tank, which you get with so many of the like mouth to lung style tanks. You never get used to get the flooding on the cardinals, no, because no. The, the cotton was so well de uh, packed because there's always um, a good flow of, of juice to them, you know. Mm, mm. One or two interesting comments coming in, in on chat. Chunk, uh, Pee Wee, let's put this one up, Pee Wee. Uh, I can't remember my first try. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. My first try was an Ego 510, can't tell which year. Didn't help me stop smoking, but since three years, three months, I didn't smoke 34,897 cigarettes, not, not consuming 400 grams of tar. And that's, when you look at it in, you know, when I mean, you multiply your number of years by how many cigarettes or roll-ups you smoke today, you know, unbelievable. It's frightening, massive, isn't it? I wasn't a simply heavy smoker. You weren't? Um, but I was just I was conscious of it. Um, and I was, I, I started on, on quite low and, you know, the other people were on 36 milligram and that was beyond me the people yeah. that was, were heavy bent in the hedges yeah. three or four packs a day kind of things you know I went straight um, to 18 I did that was my first 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 go Verena um, I tried vaping about 11 years ago went back to smoking because devices didn't satisfy me enough didn't like the Ego T and Ego W but now vaping for 6 years and very so well done Verena um Bosh, get rid of that one. Yeah, um, and back when I started, the um, 
I was finding that I was buying all my juices from America because there was just nothing in this country. There was there was literally nothing, and so because the juices in America were were kind of expensive to get over as well. Um, what I was doing was eighteen was a bit too strong for me, and I was finding that like eleven or twelve was better. So I'd be buying them from America, yeah, in thirty mil bottles, and getting VG from the chemist. Yeah, in bottles, and I'd be cutting it. Back, I'd be cutting it back, so I'd lose a bit of the flavour, but I would get the throat it, and it would still be, you know, more enjoyable than yeah, the Chinese juices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, John Best, John, put your comment up there, John. Yeah, I can remember the cartonizers and even rebuilding them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did, and I um, up until very recently, uh, we made a cartonizer for the billet box still. Um, vaping was expensive people coming off cigs much easier transition nowadays and so forth and it is we forget or it's easy to forget you know how inexpensive it is now you know you hear comments on social media platforms like oh so and so is ripping me off at three pound or whatever and you think you don't know what rip off is <laughs> rip off was a, was a de- you know a decade ago when you know that that was but as as technology advances, things get cheaper, don't they? It stands to reason, and competition gets more mm. as well. And yeah, Pav, silica wicks, yeah, chunk still vapes that. He still uses them. I still I still use silica wicks like I showed in the box there. And what I used to do is, Aiden back. Um, before you used to be able to. Um, I moved on to cotton really early, and. I didn't want the faff of normal cotton, so I'd be going to. Um, you to went to a wool shop, didn't cotton. you? <laughs> cotton from the cotton from the wool shop, and uh, I'd be using that just to save the faff. Is it? No, it's not from a wool shop. Come on, what is it? <laughs> no, it is. It is. Um, it is proper uh, cotton, organic cotton. Right. But I, it's trying to find it is really quite hard without the chemicals. Yes. Uh, you know, because yeah. most of the stuff is bleached and, and so on. Yeah. But you know, the, this there we are. There's some some lovely silica, lovely fluffy silica oh, one. No, silica and lovely shouldn't be in the same sentence. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Kevin. You for my time. You guys must be really old. Yeah. Well, we are knocking on a bit. I am. Um, Matt Benson, lovely. Thanks, Matt. Uh, evening all. Jack Robert short fills from the giveaway. Well tasty. Yeah, um, I mean, I haven't checked to see if everyone got them, but Josh is a, a proper proper geezer, and I knew if he said he'd be sending them out, he would. So that's that's good. Uh, did you? I don't know if you saw that show. We had Josh from Jack Rabbit Vapes on the other week, Chunk. Um, I missed that, I think. I can always rely on Kieran, can't I? He's got this wealth of knowledge. Um, GP salt and pepper cartomizer tank. Yeah, I think it was a GP, um, but I had another one as well, and I'll, I'll find it. I've got it somewhere. Um, I don't know how you remember things, Kieran. My memory now is awful. You know that I'm amazed I can remember a Pravari. You know what I mean? It's just the, the way it is. Um, Jay Webb, yeah, thanks, Jay. Um, late to the party. I have explained, Jay, and you are the man that has got my chip out of my <laughs> my mod, but uh, my old troner. But I, I have been showing off this one, the twenty-two mil one, which I'm well enjoying. It's I've been using this all day, and that these eighteen three fifty batteries are so much better than they used to be. That's kept me going all day on a, on a mouth to lung. So, yeah, I mean, people say you should, you know, you should throw away the batteries when they start fading and not holding the charge and stuff. <coughs> two, you know, every two or three years, I think, personally. Um, after having some Panasonic's go thermal on me, I did you quickly learned that yeah, um, it was in a it was in a mech and I was in the car and I was vaping away and. All of a sudden, I thought this this is getting a bit warm. Yeah. 
and it, 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 it just it just it just kept kept uh, getting hotter and hotter and, hotter and, and I noticed the, the spring getting having less throw on it. Right. So it was it was it was warming the spring up so so much it was it started to um, weaken the spring and did it and throw it out the window because it was just so hot. Yeah. It was this um, frightening. So if you can afford to and or maybe you, you, you can't really afford not to, it's just replace your batteries every couple of years. Yeah. I think I saw that on YouTube. I saw the the cyclist's perspective of that account. <laughs> I'm going out of it. Do you know this man? <laughs> it was it was it was it was that, or it was me catching fire? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I threw I threw one in the back garden once. That was with a twenty six fifty battery in it, and it was the uh, what's that mod? Um, I think it was a Futoon one. And that, that was a mech mod that you fired from the bottom. Big, great big thing, H like a rocket. H what was it? Hades. Hades? Hades. Yes, it was. was it? Yeah, it was a Hades. Was it, uh, yeah. Was it? I still got one by here. Yeah. Well, I might have known. <laughs> In your little little cave. <laughs> there we are. That's my head. That's the kitty. Yeah. Well, there are. I said like a rocket. And I've, I've still got mine as well somewhere. But that did the same thing. I think I had... That was my fault. I think it was the setting of it up that I got wrong. But anyway, that got so hot. It was in my hands like, oh. And I just panicked. I opened the back door and threw it like a bloody hand grenade. <laughs> so I didn't want that going off on me. But, um, yeah, Verena. Liquids 10 years ago um, were not very tasty. As well. No, they weren't. And e-liquid has, has changed enormously. Mm. Uh, mostly, mostly you could buy cherry, tobacco, strawberry, apple, and menthol. Yeah, it's blueberry as well was in the early days, wasn't it? Uh, and a it's lot funny of them because not being very tasty. One of the first bottles I had from America was Pink Spot, and I kept a bottle, and I've got you know, and it's literally a two mil sample bottle that they sent with. Oh right, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, and it's like it's it's um, Pink Spot Dime Piece, I think. I was going to vape it live, but like, I have no idea where it's gone. But um, some of the juices, you, you know, look at these, that, that is black as the ace of spades. <laughs> um, but, no, um, why are you keeping that? It does beg the question, why? Why do we keep it? It's, it's just in the box. It reminds me <laughs> of... Uh, Oh, actually, let me have a sniff. Let me open this up. <laughs> Not as tobacco. No, thank you. <laughs> I was going to be cruel and get everyone a Type X1 in chat if they wanted to stuff that in a tank, but I won't. Pev, uh, you could dry burn silica and carry on, but some of them were breaking into little sh shards. And that's what... Mm. Put, gets me with silica if you if you get a bright light and you just go like that in your fingers it you just see all this glistening coming down in the light and that just to me uh, that worries me uh, that's why i prefer cotton mm. there you go what was the, the upgrade from now sorry because um there was there was the um the ready x wick can you remember the ceramic flexible wick that looked like a shoelace no, no, the one that um, Kieran's just made a mention to that I'll put on the screen is the Eco Wool, and I remember buying mm. that. It was like the plaited stuff, wasn't it? Eco Wool. Yeah, yeah. Was it Eco or but Echo? The, um, How do you pronounce it? I don't know. I think it was Echo Wool. Yeah. But the um, the Ready X Wick was basically a product that was designed by 3M for insulating wires. On aircraft. Oh right. Um, uh, so a company in in, the, in in America picked up on this and the fact that it would heat at ridiculous temperatures and not give off anything. So unfortunately, you couldn't buy it anywhere outside of America because it was limited by license by 3M for not for, not for export. Um, but there were ways around ordering it. It was about thirty pounds for for an inch and a half. Which would just about do two tanks, but it would last forever. Right. Uh, literally, you could you could hit it with a, a blowtorch 
uh, or, or a, you know, the gas stove, and you could be, you could vape away, you could, uh, you could be, you know, even because you know coils used to really get gunked up. Yeah, yeah. Um, you could just go on and on and on. You do a blast on on the on the kit on the hob, take it off, and it's it got it's white, brand spanking clean, absolutely nothing on it. Right. Away you go. It's amazing stuff, but uh, I'm so, old enough. Someone's worried about you, Junk. Webley. It's Lots your of liquid nearly me. gone. Dry hit alert. <laughs> It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> He's going to put some of that old dark tobacco in there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go for this. Uh, this uh, apple pie, twenty four milligram. Oh, you putting that in the FP? I don't, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think so. That, that would probably kill me. I remember my Not because of the flavour. My first dripping experience. I thought I'll try one of these drippers and. At the time, I was still on 18 milligram um, liquid, and I, I put that in a dripper, and I gave it a big old blast, and I was like, oh, God, how can people use these things? <laughs> Do you know the, the smell and the flavours? The, the, smell, the smell of it is it's still really good, but 24, no, no chance. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's talking about their age. Why is everyone talking about their age in chat? Kieran's 51 next month. Rena forty seven, Curly Chew thirty nine. What's this in? <laughs> I'm forty six, I think. You're forty six, you think? I think, yeah. Because you get to a certain age where you, you stop counting birthdays because it's depressing. Yeah, you told me about it. I'm fifty five this month. That's frightening, isn't it? Frightening. It is. Yeah, and Kieran's put their aircraft insulator, bloody expensive and hard to get. Mm. And the way you, the way you could get hold of it from the market <coughs> is, um, you could order like if you, if you were buy if you were buying quite a quite a distance, uh, if you were, if you were buying a couple of feet, yeah, you could order a pair of cheap sneakers from America, which would come with shoelaces. So they would replace the shoelace with the. Uh, oh right. <laughs> otherwise, it would get stopped. It would get stopped. Right. Oh. Well, you learn something every day. You're, you're like one of these. Um, mm. What do they call them in, uh, when they? God, well, they're like bootleggers or whatever. <laughs> um, David Salford Vapor, how are you? Uh, your stratum got sent back to you today, so you should get that tomorrow, David. Just so you know. Um, anything else in chat? I don't think so. Uh, oh, I'm a little bit behind as always. Matt Benson, Mark, did you forget again? What have I forgot? You can't remember what you forgot. I can't remember what I forgot. <laughs> I don't know what have I forgot? <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I'm not with you. Um, anything else? Uh, Kieran, I used to use a bit of, I'll say, echo wool on the tip of my mesh roll for my Genesis tank. Yeah, I mean, Genesis tanks, I never really got into the whole Genesis thing. Did you get into them, Chunk, or not? I did. I used to love um, my combo. Now, I love my, I love my mods as, as the box is coming out. Um, <laughs> Oh, you can see it's the lid on top of your head. <laughs> you know you what, no? <laughs> <coughs> so I, I used to love um, my my mods. Uh, smock. I like smock. I do like smock when it comes to these sort of things. So, yeah. smock were quite a... I mean, we were talking last night, a lot of the companies that are out there now have a firm base coming from Mex. So, if it, there's the smock natural. I used to use the Genesis, the um, RSS T-Tank on top. And it would look really uh, matchy-matchy, as they would say these days. Um, but smock. There's the smock. There's another... Let's have a guess. See if anybody guesses this one. 
Anybody know who made that? <coughs> um, yeah, I think I do know. Is that Sigeli? So that's a Sigali, that is. Yeah. So there we are, another, another big company. Um, then, obviously, Smock moved to regulated with things like this. So if you couldn't afford a Provari and you didn't want to be a cheap ass and get a van or you'd spend about 50, 60 quid on... Z-Max, uh, that was Smock, Z-Max. wasn't it? Was that Smock, Z-Max? <laughs> Yeah, it's a small. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. And do you know, strangely enough, it worked in the same way as a Bravari did, whereas you tick the bottom off, you put a battery in, and when you turned it on and put something on top of it and pressed the button, it would work. Pretty much the same as any mod. Yeah. You know, I mean, going back, going back to um, looking at all these things. A mech, there's only one way a mech works, and that's um, simple simple circuit making. All the regulated, they're pretty much all the same. They work the same way. They've got a protection board in it. And yeah, that's a... Sorry, I'll interrupt you. Just, just, sorry, Chunk, just a second. David Cox, I, I wanted to know that as well. What were the expensive Greek ones called? Because there was the um, Golden Greek version of that, wasn't there? Now, what were they called? Look just like that with the fire and button like blob on the side. Oh. Kieran will tell us very shortly. <laughs> was it the Ithaca? No, the the Ithaca was the rebuildable tank. I've got one of them. And that used non res oh. and res wires. Yeah, that's you know, but um yeah, there's another, there's another uh, Sigali. We'll get to that. Kieran will Wait. tell us in a minute what that was. That's I've got an angle double on top. There's a very basic two post and these are tiny screws. Um, and that, that's the thing just... that's changed a lot from the past isn't it there, there was tiny little screws and posts that you know we had to try and get out and I don't know if you have the same obviously as me but you tried to put your coil around it you'd wrap around it you'd tighten the screw down it would just push it out to the side and give you a white knuckled yeah. moment absolutely minuscule and, and um, yeah I can see it yeah. you know, the, the, the early drippers we had the yeah. things like this though. they were aluminium there was, there was one they? which was those there was one which was about twice the width, and then it was called the, the octopus, and then they came up with the squid, which is a smaller version. Yeah. Um, but there we are. It's a look at them. Look, yeah, yeah. Two two O-rings. Uh, it's a bit bogging, but mm. two O-rings. You can only have the coil on the one side. Yeah. Um, because the the hole is just so small, and you would put a little bit of juice because. Any more would just flood out through the air hole on the side, which was tiny. Yeah. So, so. But this this was the sort of thing. I think we can see more true. when you hold it back a bit, but, actually, chunk. Because I can see more of that now with in your hand there than I can up close. Or well, you want to <laughs> manually focus your camera. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. We'll see it more there. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks, Andy. Nice um, comment. Awesome show tonight, Mark Nature Vape. Uh, it's like a history of cha- history of channel for vaping. Yeah, well, it's nice to go back and, and you know talk about older stuff as well. Because, and I'm sure that a lot of people in chat have got this old stuff in a cupboard that they probably should get out now and again and and try it. You know, you don't always need to be buying new stuff. Some of the newer technology, like take these newer 18350 batteries, would work well in some of your older kit. Sorry, Junk, over to you. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just saying I totally agree there. You know, you've got, um, you know, the van wall like that, where you've seen you've got your 18350s. Yeah. You know, you just, and you could always shorten the van wall, you know. Yeah, take just a the section the flexibility out. Of, yeah. Just take the, the segment out. Although that's a, that's a good that's a good spring actually, 
That's one of the replaced ones. Yeah. Because the springs used to melt in these as well. Um, but I still use my my Vamo quite a lot. Um, I use it with uh, um, Chrome One Mini. And on top of that, I've got a, a long extension drip tip like that. So by the time I finish building it, it's, it's like that. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like it's like a foot long uh, set. <laughs> Getting done for that now for carrying offensive women. And, and it could probably be done now. But it is such a satisfying vape when you sit down. Um, because these these mods have only got to fifty watts, pretty much. And if you if you build right and you have some nice high resistance coils, then you you still gonna get a fairly satisfying vape out of them anyway. <coughs> oh, good night, John. John's uh, struggling. He's he's not filling with it. But um, yeah, thanks for popping in, John. And uh, yeah, we'll speak yeah, to you soon. Yeah. Um, Matt Benson, uh, apparently that uh, Grim Green and Matt Suck My Mod have done a great YouTube video on the history of vaping. Well worth a watch, so I haven't seen that one either. Hmm. So there's a, there's a Jenny tank. So there's yep. the Kraken. Yeah, the Kraken, that's, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so how did you get on with Genesis tanks then? I, I, I found them for fine um i didn't used to um just use the um because a lot of the genesis tanks people were using the mesh wicks yeah not um not mesh coils mesh wicks this is this is back when it was used as a, a wicked material and for, the yeah, for, for those that, that don't know it's to... basically stainless steel mesh you rolled into a tight ball the more you rolled it the tighter it got you then flamed it with a torch, didn't you, to stop it conducting electricity, mm -hmm. put it through the coil, yeah. dropped, and that was then your wick, and it came up through a, just a little, like a, a single wire coil at the top. And But the issue for most people was hot spots, wasn't it? And on those sort hot of things. Hot spots was a pain. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And sometimes the wicking wasn't wasn't that good. You could know, if you, if you um, didn't get rolled properly. So um, I can remember playing about with cotton and doing like a hybrid wick where I'd have a little bit of cotton inside, then I would I would roll it. So as well as the capillary, you've got a bit of cotton to hold the juice up there as well. Yeah. But it's uh, all these little tricks and tips that people were using and. And, uh, Kieran's out of power. Just yeah. trying to get the best. <laughs> I think that's the only um, person that's been on my show that we had like a, a, his internet kicked out going. Well, I think that was a stormy night or something, wasn't it, Kieran? You had a, a power cut or something <laughs> that night. So that that was my very first show that was chunk, and I thought, oh god, I'm really <coughs> getting stuff wrong, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> but so that's, uh, there's another one. What's so that one? Uh, so this is the lava tube. Lava tube, of course, yeah. 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 So, uh, this is made by a company called Volcano. There yeah. were lots of clones, um, but Volcano were the ones that came up with it. And uh, they weren't cheap. This was like £90 when I bought it. Um, but the actual materials, you compare... Let me find something. You look at something like this, which is the, the smock natural... The, the, the thickness of the walls is, you know, it's thin, whereas apparently you can my, see how, uh, my internet connection wasn't uh, fast uh, enough. Yeah. I don't know how I get rid of that. Never had that before. Talked that one up, didn't I, Chunk? <laughs> <laughs> I just had a, a sign come up on the right in front of my face that says stream quality has been automatically lowered because the internet connection wasn't fast enough. Tina, yeah. stop watching films. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that's it's, it's the gods of the internet. The gods of the internet. Watch yeah, the gods of the thing. internet. But I hopefully we're there. we're still transmitting okay. As long as it's all all right, we'll carry on. Yeah. 
and, and you had your little 18350 mod. So, there we are. That's an 18350, is it? That's an 18350. So well, you, you could try that now, no. couldn't you, with a with a decent battery? I could, but... Oh, I think we are buffering. Um, let there we are. Me, got... How do I close the speaker off? I can shout at Tina. Tina! Oh, <laughs> Just yell it. She might be watching a video or something. I think it's buffering. Just give the stream a reload. Oh, if it's with buffering, it will reload, maybe. That should, should be okay. okay this is uh, telescopic. So, it looks like an 18350, an 18500, or um, an 18650. Although, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's where the older. older. essentially a yeah, yeah. It's essentially a Meg, but I wouldn't put anything too taxing because it's got the spring, and the old springs just weren't. Oh, she, Tina's active. not watching a film. She's put no, don't know, don't know what it is. I think it's um, yeah. Someone said it's my it's stuttering your end, Mark. Why would that be? Oh, there shouldn't be a problem in the world with my connection. <coughs> not a lot else I can do folks it is what it is I think mm -hmm. I can't unless I shut the whole thing down and fired it up again uh, it's all good now okay Mo it could be the weather it's a it's been an awful day with we've, we've had gushing rain everywhere but I don't know how to get rid of that oh there you go I've got rid of that message we'll carry on and with the tele with the telescope mods there was a big trend in Telescopic mods because people wanted to use different size batteries. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, Grand Reaper came up with a lot of them. Now these are um, not originals. These are clones because at the, at the time to get a proper Grand Reaper um, mech, you were looking at $150, $200. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I mean that's where uh, Fastex sort of came into uh, to play. And uh, what's this called? I think this is the TVL. Good God, you got some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, another smart mod. Another, another smart Mac. This is the Magneto. Oh, Magneto. Yep, yeah, I've got one of those. I think. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've got one of them. Pav says there's nothing wrong with the internet, it's just blame Brexit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we'll blame Brexit for everything. Actually, talking of, of that, on a... Oh, I don't really do politics, and I, I don't ever want to do it on the show, but I, I don't know. How do you feel about our friend Donald Trump visiting this country? I feel, personally, he's been invited here as a, you know, as a, as a guest... And I think to have all this demonstrating, I, I don't really like it much. That's my opinion. <laughs> there you go. Here ends, here ends politics. <laughs> freedom of speech. Yeah. Well, it is. Fr I know, that's the trouble. I, I agree with freedom of speech, but I just think sometimes respect has to come in a bit as well. Um, I don't know. It's just maybe just me. I'm not going to. I'm going to stop there because politics is just a no. We shouldn't do it. But I just thought, oh, I don't know, this that's the nicer side of me. I just thought that shouldn't be. You know, we wouldn't like it if someone from our country went there and they and they got got pounded like that. I mean, it's it's just my opinion. It probably would be. You think there would be? Ian in Flat Cap, how are you? Uh, Flat Cap's been a guest on the show as well, and he's in chat. Nice to see you. Um, I haven't. Um, Flat Cat, when's your first show coming out, or have I missed it? Because you're going to do um, something quite new, I think. Perhaps you should tell us in chat. Is another, another nice one? Uh, Panzer. Panzer mod, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, so that's, a, that's a, a genuine one, that is. Um, 
text to him. It's a media show. <laughs> so, some of these, um, I, 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 they were really big at the time, but because the memory's gone, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, that's bad. Here's another smock natural. Here's another cigarette. You see, there's a lot of side buttons. I used to love the side yeah, buttons. Yeah, I think... Hold that up again. Okay, hold that up again, please, please, Chunk. And now Kieran's got his electric back. What was the expensive Greek one with a button like that on the side? Can you remember, please? Because we couldn't. And I know you're a, you're a mind of knowledge. Or anyone else in chat, if you know. It was the, the it was called something. I can't remember what it was called. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Pev. I agree. Um, I don't like Trump, but we should be more, more civil about a visit of a head of state. Yeah, that's just how I feel, really. And, you know, it's... I don't know. Anyway, we won't go on. There's, I've started a few people talking about Trump now. <laughs> that wasn't the intention. <laughs> well, I've, I've got a module that's in disguise. So this is one that somebody can guess. Yeah. Uh, just get it right. Oh, my Lord. Um, actually, I, I, did, I couldn't tell you what it is, but I do remember seeing that. So this is the same company. Oh. This is another profile you want to be. And it, again, it was um, telescopic. Sorry, I missed that. I was reading something in chat. What is it? A Segeli? Um, this is um, made by the same company as the MVP. Right. So this is the the ITEST SVD. ITEST, right? SVD, cos it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really blingy, though, wasn't it? It um, was. Flat cap. I'm going to put your message on the screen. I really don't mind. Uh, you're a top bloke. Uh, evening, age mate. Thank you, matey. I won't go on about it now. It's your show. <laughs> But it's silly and challenging. Hopefully, starts next week. Week. I don't mind. Um, you know, it's what it's all about. Share and share about. So, get yourself over. Have, have a look at, at Flat Cap's new show. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, give him a bit of support. He's a nice chap. Th yeah, Golden Greek. It was Golden Greek, um, but I, it was called something. Or was it just called the Golden Greek, Kieran? I can't remember. No, the, the Golden Greek was the company. Golden Greek was, yeah, um, but didn't, was it just called the Gold? Because it was one of his early ones, wasn't it? No, I, I just can't remember the name of it. Yeah, <laughs> and the Curly Chew looks like R2-D2s. Yeah, and they do, they were a bit like that. Yeah, that was, um, I think it was June Up saying. <laughs> Stuart thinks uh, you've got a lot of adult, to adult toys in your shed. <laughs> 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 we're talking about um, the. There we are. There's uh, <coughs> the Jennies. So this was basically the RSST was this. Yeah. The, the top cap. Um, That's right. I remember didn't that. Quite love this. But they 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 came up with this um, smog. So this is the magneto magneto tube. Yeah, with the built with the RSST built in, so um, this was one of Smock's fails simply because you filled your Jenny up, you'd set it up, you you drop it in there, yeah, and you put your top on, and it was great, yeah. But there's a slit on the side to show you how much juice is in there, yeah. But because there's no light in there and everything's blocked off, you couldn't see it. You can't. You can't actually see the level of it. So you basically got to really look at it and tilt it to try and work out how much juice is in there. Because yeah, it's brilliant. Juices. But yeah, thank you, Verena. <laughs> Sorry, I'll interrupt you again. Uh, I found a Greek mob with side button. Call. Uh, that was what it was. No wonder I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Atmon Mixani sixty nine telescopic mob. That's exactly what it was. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Thanks, Verena. The Varina has been. Were common. She's been googling. I remember that as well. That's not that old, is it? That one. 
K100, I think it is. K100. K100, that's it. Yeah, and this was, it wasn't this one, I had a green one, and that's the one that nearly exploded in my pocket. The springs and this, uh, death trap these days. Right. There's some things that need to be in a museum, uh, but other stuff, you know, the stuff that can't be used, because you need to go back and, and really buy, uh, you know, super high resistance coils and, and so on um, actually flat cap if you're still in in uh, chat then flat cap is really good with his keynote stuff uh, on Mac now where's mine <coughs> that I put in there I try I tried to do one there it's not quite right but I'll, I'll play it there you go it's I'm sort of getting there but I'm not that techy <laughs> And actually, everyone in chat, I always forget this every week, and I've finally remembered, um, just so that, and anyone else that watches this playback afterwards, a um, bit of a, a plug or whatever, but it's just to help you as well. The discount code for people that watch my show is NV10. That will get you 10% off. So there you go. It's just a... Just, I usually type it in chat when I remember, but I've remembered to put the thing on the screen. So, you, you still got your FP going there. <laughs> still got Sometimes. juice in it, just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, an interesting one. I think this was called the Amiga. Um, right. So, there was no button on it. But what you do is you pull you pull the, the top part down. Oh, really? No, I've never seen that. Never seen that. And, and that was your fire could, button, you was it? it? But it would be very clicky. Right. Um, uh, it would stick. And it would cause some arcing as well. Right. Which isn't good. Um, but um, there's, another, there's another design that hasn't... This will be recycled, I think, sometime this year, I reckon. Because everything's been recycled. There's uh, another Sigali. I told you, he's just going to go on and on. It's like a magic case. It just doesn't finish. <laughs> and Summer's <laughs> Distributor. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Ian Morgan's put. Well done, Ian. That's not, I'll give you a thumbs up for that, Ian. I'll give you one of my silly thumbs up. There you go. You can have one of them for <coughs> that comment because that was funny. <laughs> Joe Mason. Yeah. Um, that, that was the... You think that was the... Put that on the screen. Thinks so that's the more. I can't remember that one, Joe. You could well be right. I can't remember. So take that one off. Where you go, chunk? What you got next? Oh, I remember that. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. 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 I do remember that. So there's another built-in built-in uh, tank. Mm. Actually, one we used to do that. It's still one of my favourites. This is a this is an all in one. It's a, it was called a V mods. Uh, I showed you that last night as well, didn't a chunk with, when we we're doing our little thing. Twenty two millimeter tank. We'll go inside here. <laughs> and, <laughs> hang on, there's was the jewel in it was nice uh, machining on it. It's lovely machine and it's if I can get this there you go. The side opens try and do it without dropping it so and it's got a what's it got on here a yeehee chip there's the display at the bottom an 18650 battery usb port in there and you see your tank in the side and this plate here would just slide in in like that and that was that shut but it's a bit pardon the pun chunky but it's it was it was just nice nice to use your your little pinky did the fire button, but and that's that's why I like about that's why I like about these things you know because you always have a little pinky to fire the, <laughs> the, the little pinky yeah <laughs> I, I'm not one for like a lot of the mechs where you got to curl your finger around and you know some of them can be a bit awkward when yeah. the fire button is. Like recessed or whatever. Mm. Um, that some of the earlier ones that you had to press underneath, which 
Uh, don't know if I've got one here up here. Yes, I some have. Of were, some of them were a pain because they, the buttons were were, uh, were pronounced, and if you put you, you mod on a desk, yeah, if you drop it down. This one's not as flush, but this is a bit more modern. That's the uh, Futune H24 uh, Mech mod. Is there a battery in there? Yeah, yeah you there end up, is. Um, you end up putting up. You end up put on a desk, walking away, and it would yeah. fire away happily. I haven't used that for a long time. That's got the gear in there, but I haven't used that for a long time. But yeah, but some of the the ones that you fired underneath, you sort of had to use your middle finger, and they'd get a bit sticky, and as well, wouldn't they? And mm -hmm. clunky. So but very then, far before I get told off in chat. Yeah, there you go. You're going to make someone a happy man now. Keep you safe. Fill up your. <laughs> Try your FP. Um, oh, well, thanks, Black Cap. Yeah, he said, nice mm. work for needing help. Give him a shout. I probably will. Um, it's, it's one of these things that you know I I find with with computers and programming and stuff. It's I can do it, and then the next time I go to do it, I can't remember how I've done it the time before. So I bet I'm not alone. But what have you got there, Chunk? That looks nice. Well, that's that's um, another. Mod that takes a tank in the side. Yeah. Uh, this is the, the Kang side or KSD uh, luxury box. And it was much of a luxury because it didn't really work very well. Oh, didn't it? Um, because how, why, why ever they did it, it was the, the center pin. They went all of them. I had about five of these. Yeah. And they were all too, the center pins were all too short. So if you're trying to adjust your tank to yeah. pull the pin out to, to meet it, you have to do it so much you end up pulling the centre pin out of your tank. Right, yeah. So it's a common feeling. That looks like that. very similar to the NV22, which um, I made with a company years ago, years and years ago. Uh, but that one's not got a built-in battery, has it? That looks like it's got no. a battery door. It's got a battery door on the bottom. And the, uh, the Cloudper GT. Cloudper, yeah. Cloud Lab. Yeah. They were very... What happened to Cloudper? You don't hear about them now, do you? They died because of this. Right. Because they were, they were, they were having... They were chasing the game when it came to numbers. Mm. And they were always saying, oh, our mods can do this, 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 this. This can do 60 watts. This can do 80 watts. Yeah. And when, and when uh, people started looking into it, they found out that... It says 80 watts on the on the screen, but the most you get out of it is 40 watts. 40. Even in mine. Um, and, and people were getting really annoyed, and it all came out, and people turned on them quicker than they turned on uh, on Vubu for the drag issue. Um, <laughs> and but, Kieran uh, says that his favourite is the Atmum Mixani Nemesis. Yeah, it might be Kieran, but can you pronounce it? Because <laughs> I'm struggling slightly. But... Nemesis? Does somebody say Nemesis? Yep. Nemesis and parts of Nemesis are clone. But, yeah, we... Because I, I always used to find that I'd use the spacer, and that would mean that it just doesn't fit together properly. Um, I think that's the only one it got left, which is uh, in one piece. There's a battle scarred... Uh, Oh, it's a Kanga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, was pink at one point. I, <laughs> think, I think... That was pre-nail varnish, wasn't it, Chunk? <laughs> um, I think what I did was, it was pink and it was it was scraped. Yeah. So I, um, I got the, the sandpaper out, sanded it up, and at one point I, I must have um, polished it to like a mirror finish, and then, after, you know, it, it, it starts to oxidise, so... Yeah, it's looking rather old. <laughs> so, how big is that box? Have you got much more? <laughs> it's a big box, but it's got some small ones in there. Look at that. What was, what's that? Um, um, I can't remember the name of it. It's a bad memory. But basically, you, you unscrew the top part. Um, oh, no, that's, uh, it's a fixed drip tip, which is small. 
you got these heat spreaders and it's not going to come off, is it? Oh. It's a very strange whip where you've got the centre pin. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. So that, that pin goes to the very set, the, the top centre and you've got a screw on the side and you literally, you either, there was supposed to be an insert which went under there and you'd widen your, your coil on it a bit like a Genesis. Yeah, yeah. And you'd drip and it would hit, hit the wick and soak up. Right. Um, but again, that's, um, when you look at the size of it compared to... Um, I say I haven't got a battery on the other one. Um, there we are. So we, we, we're talking... What's that, an 18650? Yeah. That's an 18650, so yeah. you're looking at smaller than 18650 in total height with, with the dripper. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, easy tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I need. But some of this, some of the stuff in in, in uh, the, the old days is um, it's nice stuff. Is another smock. There's the uh, I had this from Mike's Max because he knows I love my smock Max and he thinks smock Max is a, a, a crap. Oh, does he? We disagree. We disagree on that one. I remember that one. I think I've got that one in a drawer somewhere as well. Yeah, with a so, with a skull on theory, it. Yeah, which is um, <coughs> a magnet. Oh. Yeah, I've, yeah, that's it. I've got that somewhere. That very same one. Chunk, do you realise I usually go on till ten o'clock, and we've nearly hit ten o'clock, and I've, uh, that's an hour and a half, and. Uh, and over an hour has been your magic case, <laughs> no, it just but it's been fun. I'm not knocking you for it. It's been good. Yeah, so classic limitless. Yeah, yeah. So that was, that was one of the titanium ones. This, this is a genuine one. It cost me an arm and a leg. Um, yeah, I've got but, a styled uh, one of those somewhere. I didn't have the genuine one. I must admit. No, but the, at the time the copper and the brass were like. Um, Hundred and eighty-nine. Right, yeah, a lot of money, isn't it? A lot of money. It was about two fifty. Yeah, a lot of money. But well, I think we've just about we've done our ten o'clock, and we haven't really talked yeah. about much. I'd normally be talking a bit more about you, but you you've just been dragging the. <laughs> but it's, is, it's been great to see all this old stuff, and it's, uh, it is. It's, uh, you know, it's brought back some some memories of stuff I've got as well. I think yeah. next uh, for this week, um, everyone's challenge is to is to open their cupboards and drawers and dig out something from the past and have another go with it. Just get something out which maybe you thought, nah, but give it another go because it might have been at that stage of vaping. It might have been perhaps you weren't experienced enough to set that up properly, and you might well enjoy it, um, something from the past. Was it on that note? Um, where's it gone? If people have got stuff in the past, if you have something like a pro tank and you've got an ego battery, give Nick Salts on it. Oh right, okay, yeah. Really good, really good for Nick Salts. Yeah. Um, you know, it it it, it um, if you're on like three milligram now, in your, your normal tanks, <coughs> six and twenty milligram Nick Salts in it, and uh, it, it just refreshes the kit. It's a nice bit of kit to use. Ian um, Morgan has got a question so for on, you before before we. Par, huh? I see. It's it's kind of on par with. A lot of the pod systems that are out there these days. Well, yeah, and a lot of stuff is, and, and but you know, you talk about pods, and it's just my opinion. Why would you want a pod when you can have that? Um, you know, a, it's as small as a pod, and it certainly tastes nicer than the pod, and you can put your own coil in it. So there you go. So mm -hmm. Ian Morgan's question to you: Can you read it in chat, or have you not got chat open? Yeah, um, I have. Uh, That's all right, I'll read, 
You're talking about this. Oh, right. You've seen this question. I'll put it on the screen, if not. So this is um, a custom Nazi um, mods by Nazi. So M-O-D-Z by Nazi. N-A-S-Y. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. We can see that. Yep. Yeah. So um, let me get the cover out. And then on Facebook, I'm not sure what, what's... Um, I know exactly. They were having some issues a couple of years ago, but... Uh, are they still going, do you know? I think they are. Yeah. It's a five-year-old company now. Yeah. Um, I, I know he had some uh, financial issues, which, you know, they happen. Um, but he, he, I think he's kept on going. And the, the, the actual paint job on it is fantastic. He does the... Uh, you know, what do they call it when they use the anodizing? Yeah, anodizing. That was like no, uh, it's like the electrostatic. Oh, some kind of electrostatic stuff. Where it, it pulls the paint onto the makes well, it really like electro like electroplating type of thing, or yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like that for paint, I think. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure about a lot of these paint processes, how they work, but I know that, um, you know, with anodizing, that, that's done in a similar way, isn't it? And that, but that paint becomes actually sort of embedded in the metal, doesn't it? it you know, it's, yeah, yeah. It really is, is I, good. But I, th I, think a good, I think a good challenge for people who are watching for this week would be find an old mod that might be a, little, a bit beaten up bit scratched, bit under the weather, get out, get some, get some nail varnish. And get some nail varnish. Poundland, we want some commission. Come on. Poundland, yeah. <laughs> get, some, get, some, get some cheap you know, W7 nail polish or whatever and just just have a go. And it, it, it'll be you know, satisfying if you do it properly. Oh, um, there you go. David's put a link in chat as well. Thank you, David, for the nazy... Um, Mods. Yeah, they got they got the ones in 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 uh, this country. I don't think they're custom, but you can buy the, the plain ones, and they are. This is the candy apple red, I think, and it's you can't quite see the sheen on it. It's, it's got Stuart like says, is it powder it's, coating? It's not powder coating, is it? Oh, uh, powder coating, is it? Sorry. It is. Okay, well uh, done, Stuart. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Kieran obviously uh, missed all the bit about nail varnishing. He's put a question mark. Nail, nail varnishing you've question got to do mark. It. You've got to do it. <laughs> this uh, is Chunk's feminine side. He, he likes his nail varnish. He's, he's, how many bottles did you buy from Pam Lent? I don't know. I've got about, I think I've got about 200 or something. Like different <laughs> different, you know, different colours and holograms and texture and some glow in the dark and ones and. <laughs> You know, one of the few blokes that owns two hundred bottles of nail varnish. So there you go. Well, Fact. we got thirty-one thumbs up this week. Thank you guys. That's great. Thirty. Well, I haven't even asked, and I've got thirty-one. So that's that's amazing. That's brilliant. And thanks for all your comments tonight. Um, it, it's it's. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I've enjoyed looking at all these at uh, these older things because some of these I've had. They've been through my hands and been thrown away given away or, or whatever but you know you get people like chunk who keeps them and it's nice and actually nice to see them again it's nice <coughs> so would you like to say your goodbyes chris and i keep calling you chunk i mustn't <laughs> i'll call you chris. Well, no, 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 everybody calls me chunk so i'm, I'm used to it <laughs> except, for, except for people in work they don't um <laughs> Yeah, great. everybody's been great to see everybody come on the show um, and watch. Hopefully, you brought some good memories back. Hopefully, you'll get something old out of the cupboard. Maybe give it a bit of refurbish. Enjoy it yourself or give it away to somebody, maybe. Um, and yeah, I think we've scrapped. I think this is like an iceberg. I think we have to come back and revisit um, to be continued on this. Uh, <laughs> Chunk's got eight boxes. You've only seen one. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, this 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 table desk, I've got four drawers there, four in front of me, four in front of me there, and another four, and and the pile in the background, it's 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 like an endless. <laughs> if they ban vaping tomorrow, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Oh yeah, this 
this is definitely my uh, apocalypse shed. <laughs> I've got my Ford, I've got my pop, I've got my, my cotton and my wire and my juice. I'm sorted. <laughs> so uh, if that does happen, next time I'll put Chunk's postcode in chat and you'll all be able to go around. <laughs> Come around. Yeah, wait for Chunk Fest. Chunk Fest in the summer. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. Sorry you missed most of it, Mike. Yeah, not to worry. It's, it's been all right. It's been a great show. It's been nice to have you, Chris. Thanks ever so much for coming on. You've been in chat a few weeks, and you keep answering some of my questions. And I thought, well, this is I, I must get you on. And finally, we've done it. Um, and it's been been lovely to have you on as a guest. Um, always try and vary mm. my guests, get a different perspective on things. Um, yeah, it's been good. Thanks to everyone in chat, all your comments, fantastic, you know, you get involved, it's lovely, there's never any any bickering, it's great, it's, it's really good. So, uh, yeah, appreciate that, and all your support, and your thumbs up, been brilliant. So until next Tuesday, I think I'm alright next Tuesday, I think so, I think so. So until next Tuesday, I'll see you soon, thanks for watching, take care, and bye for Thanks. now. Bye.